Hello everyone. I wanted to do a short video uh, demonstrating the progress that I've made so far on automating my roll-off roof uh, on my observatory. Um, let me switch to uh, this screen here. So what we you see in here is a uh, the remote desktop um, of my laptop that's sitting in the observatory. I'm using um, Google's um, Chrome remote desktop um, to access it. it seems to work just fine. Um, never needed to do anything different. Um, so I use that and I've got a little inset of the security camera I've got in the observatory. Um, so you can see the roof is currently closed. Um, you can see the, the motor that I've installed. It's a GT Master motor from Amazon. Um, it was maybe two hundred and thirty dollars I think I had some points so it came down came out cheaper than that um, it is a rack and pinion drive um, it came with two uh, in uh, two remotes uh, as well as some uh, other sensors and, and things that I, I didn't use for my application um, I did have to turn the uh, the guide for the gear 90 degrees in order to mount the motor uh, horizontally on the wall. Normally these are designed to be installed sitting uh, upright on a pedestal um, near a sliding gate. It's a sliding gate motor. Um, but I had to turn the, the guide 90 degrees in order to get the uh, the motor to move that way and I had to reverse the um, the open close sensor pinouts so that uh, when the magnetic sensor um, hits the or engages the, the, the magnetic uh, the, the magnet engages the magnetic sensor it will properly report whether the roof is open or closed um, and that's kind of important but those are the only modifications that I made internally um, I'll s I did pin in um, the connection to the Arduino oh there's a wasp and I did um, pre-wire for um, some buttons this particular motor on the control board has um, um, an open command, a close command, a, a stop command, or, or pinouts for those commands, as well as the, the traditional uh, one button open stop close, which um, is what the remote will do if you push the button once. It will open if it's closed or close if it's open. If you press it a second time while it's in motion, it'll stop. And then if you press it uh, again while it's while a stop between open and close, it will reverse direction and go back. So. If you start opening it and you want to stop it and hit it again, it'll close. Um, that's the connection that the Arduino uses for the software that I'm using. Um, let me just pull that up real quick. If you look under here, I'm using uh, under the dome settings. Up, oh, sorry, wrong tab here under dome settings. I'm using the uh, CCD Astro for, for the the RRCI. Um, I'll leave a link in the description uh, of where you can find this. It's in my previous video um, in case uh, I forget to do it. But um, this project seems to work really well. There are some pre prerequisites that um, I didn't have initially. It was a little bit of a struggle to find the exact drivers I need. So I'm going to try to document um, what that process looked like. I've done it twice now. I, I set it up initially on my uh, on my internal PC um, and then I had to set up out in the observatory. So what I want to do um, while I talk, since this is kind of uh, probably what if you came here to see, you probably came to see, to, to see the roof move. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit the uh, open command here. You see the shutter status is reporting is closed so if I hit open um, it should says now it says opening status says opening and there is the roof opening and you can see the clouds and the trees that I'm dealing with those trees are gonna be coming down sometime this uh, sometime this summer those trees are going down uh, the scope is pointing north uh, right now um, pretty much right at Polaris as you can see my observatory does not run directly north-south it's at a little bit of an angle and um, that's just so it would line up uh, parallel and perpendicular to the other structures on my lot. I didn't want to have it too uh, 
it would just been an odd fit to, to run it north south. Um, I figured it would be okay because uh, the roof is actually opening to the west side of north, um, and I'm not going to be shooting anything that's that's fading toward the horizon uh, anyway. Of any of those targets, uh, or some or some major targets, or I'll try to catch them either at their zenith or catch them rising from the from the eastern side of north. Um, so that's where, um, but that's the direction there. So now, if I want to close, um, here's the close command. It's reporting shutters open. If I hit close, status is going to update to say shutter closing, and the roof is closing. I'm going to use the term shutter and roof interchangeably because that's the way the software does it. And now it's closed back into position. It's reporting is closed, and. Um, that's pretty much it. We have an open and a close. Um, what you can do and what, what makes this uh, so useful for me is I can set up a sequence where I can start um, start my imaging sequence um, shortly after dark and then at the end of the imaging sequence I can script in a close shutter um, command within this within the sequence. Uh, this simple sequence here that's on the screen just says uh, open wait 10 seconds and close and you see how what that would look like in the imaging window um, and uh, let me move let me move my uh, whoops move the wrong one let me move my uh, uh, security camera down in here into the viewing window and you can see what my screen looks like uh, and uh, so if I was to start this sequence it would obviously have uh, lots more commands in here regarding uh, plate solving the target, focusing, um, and uh, beginning the imaging. But we can run this here and we can watch. Um, it's going to do the open command. And there goes the open command. And then once that completes, once the sensors tell the Arduino that there is an open roof, then it moves to the 10 second timer here. You can see the countdown at the bottom and once it's done it's going to issue a close command so that would emulate what would happen at the end of a night um, and as I may have mentioned um, I'm going to have rain sensors installed uh, in the observatory up around the the perimeter of the wall um, at least two maybe three um, just for redundancy purposes and those will be wired directly into the uh, into the closed command on the on the motor um, that way if there is any rain I can close the roof to protect the equipment inside um, both of the telescopes that I use for imaging as well as all my camera lenses um, fit um, comfortably if not a little snug but comfortably snug underneath the the moving parts of the roof so that is not a problem um, I've been eyeing a Celestron Edge HD, so that may be something I have to take some measurements on. Um, if I get one of, if I get that scope, I may have to, um, I may have to make some modifications to how I park my telescope or to the mount itself to bring it down a little bit. Um, it would be fairly easy to just park the scope in a horizontal position. That is what a, a lot of people do. Um, the software does have a, a, a telescope safe sensor input option, so I could install a sensor that would um, tell the, the software that the scope is in a safe position uh, before it operates the roof. Um, that'll add another layer of complexity because um, I would have to also incorporate the, my, my rain sensors into that scope safety feature. So if I do go above um, above the roof line with my with my telescopes it, it will add more complication um, but I'll worry about that when I when I get to that point but right now that's pretty much all I wanted to show you um, was the uh, it is working it is being controlled within Nina um, and so now hopefully I can start imaging and going to bed um, getting some sleep um, anyway clear skies everyone Thanks for watching, and uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll try to, I'll try to answer them, and I'll try to provide um, a more detailed write-up on uh, the, the process of getting this together. I know, I know several people are uh, are doing this 
uh, same project right now and um, I've borrowed ideas from them and hopefully I can contribute back um, to them as well. Clear skies.